Hello, hello. Today, we're putting weak peasant humans against powerful gods. So this world has been in the Age of Wonders for 38 years so far, and they only have one moon until the next age, which is normal. So the gods have been able to grow for 38 years during the Age of Wonders, and they're pretty advanced. They almost have 300 population. They've got 48 army, and their leaders don't die. The god king has a whole bunch of abilities that will probably help him. Some are, are questionable, and he's sad like 90% of the time. I don't know why. And also all the village leaders have different abilities too and they are also immortal and if for whatever reason they die so even though the gods are OP if they die they explode and they're probably gonna kill their entire village and or population because who knows where they'll be when it goes off so I also gave the gods all the resources in the world that they would ever need they have unlimited wood ores and food they're already on culture level 30 they have many things discovered and they're definitely gonna have a huge advantage above the humans that which they just get savannah a buffalo named bill and some ore i was generous with the ore and i closed off this mountain so the humans will not be able to interact with the gods until probably a decade just so they don't immediately destroy the humans and also there's lots of dangerous things outside and the gods are safe inside and there we go now it's the first year of the age of hope and we should spawn some humans just wherever because it doesn't matter i don't value them that much i'll probably just put some in every corner and then their first instinct is to kill things of course yeah the hyenas here you guys just went around a tree for no reason so we've got this dairy god theme going on with all of these cities and we're gonna do the same for the humans it's not lazy it just makes sense and the gods have another village a fourth village and we have to name it tree god because there's some trees here I guess and they're cutting them down and as for the village leader we have to give him his abilities L god because that's what he's craving it's his favorite food even though he's just been born probably oh never mind he's 42 you will be my favorite L god this is enough humans this is not exactly four corners but oh well there's four of them kind of and then these silly people think they're actually gonna have a chance and this village leader is already salty because he's a pyromaniac and he can't get into Mount Goth where all the nice resources are. He has to stay out here and probably get eaten by a hyena. We're gonna name them Silly Billy because ooh, they're silly to break off from their mother kingdom. What were they thinking? You're not gonna survive. These people can be named Bottom Green. These people can be named Moon Bottom. Everyone who's in the bottom will have a bottom in their name. Everyone in the top will have a top in their name. These guys like dreams, top dreams, and this is a silly, silly color. There, purple. You know, these, all these humans should be blessed to be born in the world. They should be lucky that the gods wanted some people to serve them and give them offerings and sacrifices of people and wild sheep and chickens probably a cat if they're brave enough and the gods are already at 300 approaching 400 they're definitely gonna fight each other to the death to take over this entire ring and then they're gonna try to challenge the gods which it's probably not gonna go well at all because i gave them every advantage possible like these people are seriously still living in tents what is going on and this is not a proper red we're changing this to a proper red and top red is finally top red out of all the lowly humans i'm rooting for moon bottom and top dreams but top red and silly billy already are trying to collect ore but moon bottom has all this ore covered just to themselves green bottom is just here doing whatever there's ore right here but they they don't want it they're just satisfied with their stone and tents and the gods just keep growing they they're gonna become unstoppable as it should be and their main city is huge. I This is not a good color for telling the villages apart. It's crazy how they almost have two cities that have a hundred people living in them. Yeah, they would instantly destroy the humans and top red is the first of the humans to create a new city and it's probably gonna die because they're fighting an animal already okay good no it didn't but they have one population here one population just this random guy this random 26 year old who likes tea and he's crying about that he's a miracle born how are you crying probably sad that he has to do all this work by himself because that other person left the city of the humans uh bottom green is doing the best with population i don't know what well, i don't know why i don't know what makes them different they just have a little bit more green maybe they're collecting nuts or berries or 
eating squirrels or something, Moon has the perfect opportunity to just come a little bit to the right, just a little bit, just a little bit over, and they can have all this land without having to go to war over it or fight anyone and risk losing troops that they don't have. And just as I say that, they, oh, they, they did create a new village, but this rhino just, they just have to fight the wildlife. They can't get along. And these humans are actually, they're doing a really good job fighting this rhino, even if they lose an eye doing it. Well, this one's a savage, that's why. I think they're all savages, attacking wild animals like this. Oh, he just ran away, but now he's back. Rip rhino. Up Dreams needs to do the same thing, they can expand, unchallenged. Silly Billy, of course, is like the Silly Billies they are, they, they can't go anywhere. Maybe they could squeeze a city here, but I don't think they can. And they're starting to look better, this is uh, yeah, this is, mm, these houses aren't as ugly as before, they aren't just tents asking to be blown away in the wind. I mean, they still have tents, but this is a huge step up. Look at these two. What are they doing? You think they have intense border conflicts? Probably. And Top Dreams has finally done what I've, what I've suggested they've done. As long as they don't pull a moon bottom and, and kill the wildlife and die, they'll be fine. But it's just chickens and sheep, so there's nothing really to kill up here. And Bottom Green actually managed to stick a city here. Good for them. Good for them. Please don't die from the wildlife. I don't know, it's getting kind of close. The red bottom and green bottom are finally, finally touching tips here. They're gonna have intense borders, like they're gonna have a Korea going on pretty soon. All right, and green's plotting war. Don't know who against, probably moon bottom. I don't think they wanna attack top red. They're, they're top red. They've got 100 population and 18. Um, but they could. It would be smarter to attack Moon Bottom, that 7 army, instead of Top Red, which has 18. It's just a little less than they do. Just as I said, Green Bottom's attacking Moon Bottom. Of course, they're calling this huge conquest. And uh, I don't think that's gonna go well for the Moon people. They are not very intelligent, as I thought they were. Their king has already been killed, probably by a guy with a stick. Yeah, just as I said, a guy with a stick. It's called Big Toothpick. How can you be so incompetent? Another king was killed by this guy who also has a stick and a bad attitude has earned Kingslayer just like that. And they're pretty quickly taking over Moon Bottom and there goes the capital of Moon Bottom. And they just have this lesser city now that's barely defended and they have five army. Yeah, you should just run while you can. There's nothing you can do against Top Green. Oh! And a huge meteor just landed and it killed genius god he just died the ruling god of this city just died from a meteor what is this fate how could he have died he's gone so soon i barely even knew what he looked like they must all be mourning all the gods must be mourning he was a valuable member to society i think they didn't do anything to their population so they probably don't really care so neither should we and they're just instantly able to rebuild i'm shocked that this is still going on it's been three years and i i don't know why moon bottom's still here this is an injustice okay and moon bottom has been destroyed i think that bottom green is just gonna dominate everything well now that their army is weakened top red has the advantage and they're planning war leave the silly billies they're no threat and go after top green that would be the smartest decision and just as i said top red is declaring war on bottom green bottom green is trying they they have a good defense kind of actually they're just getting bullied by red citizens here that are just trying to farm they want nothing to do with this war and they just instantly took over bottom green yeah, and even the silly bullies have more than them. That's embarrassing. And what is Top Dreams doing? Like, this is the perfect time to be building your army up. They have three cities and they're just, they're doing nothing. And the silly bullies just, they, they don't want to try. They're absolutely not doing anything. And what is this farm? You know, I think the gods are punishing them with wolves for having this farm. I, I think that they, they angered the gods because the, this is a, this is an unpleasant sight. And, no, and they can no, handle no, no, it. They no. have, they have army. They'll be fine. Yeah. Ten of them just died. It's not our problem. Don't anger the gods. This is what happens. And the war is called Big Conquest of Top Red. That's a good name. That's a solid name. And now it is time to name the new leader of the Heavens, I believe this village is called. He's 63 already. He's pretty old. He likes fish. We'll just... He has a club. <laughs> It's just a stick in reality, but okay. That's crazy how this stick was created 32 years ago. I don't even think humans were around 32 years ago. We'll just name him Club God. And it only took about three years for Top Red to take over Bottom Green. And they are 
sending in normal people, but that's okay. It's really just the villagers that are defending bottom green. I don't think they actually have army. Yeah, they don't have army. Silly Billy is of zero army after that wolf attack. And now Top Dreams has declared war on uh, green bottom. That's kind of... I guess they want to get the city before the reds do. So you have the red army here, and then you have the soon to be. Oh no, the purple army's just not moving. But they're coming in. The villagers are coming in. Their own little militia is d doing something, I guess. And top red got it before the purple people. Yeah, top dreams. That was not a not a smart idea. You probably angered the reds. But top red wants to ally with silly Billy. Of course, silly Billy wants to ally with top red. They're lazy, they have no resources, and they're trapped between Dreams and Top Red, so they want to be freeloaders. But why does Top Red want to accept the freeloading? They want to be used? Now it's just Red versus Purple, really. The Dragon Union has been created. That's between Top Red and Silly Billy. Red and Blue mix. I mean, they create Purple, though. That's... I'm confused at what's going on here. That is an amazing name, but I don't think it's very valuable. It's basically just Top Red carrying the silly billies they have zero army this is literally just all red troops and the gods just staying prosperous i guess they're not really doing much anymore now that their resources dried up but god king has this necklace called nice bottom and i wonder he you know it says it came from some random person from the gods five years ago but i i would like to believe this came from bottom green or bottom moon when they were still here Yep, that's the lore. I've never seen a ring before. And this guy's just OP. Look at his health. They're not gonna take out the God King. I mean, they're probably not gonna take out the lesser gods either. Top Red is planning war again. I don't know with whom, but we'll find out soon. It, I mean, I, I forgot they're an alliance. It can't, they, they won't break the Dragon Union. It's been going strong for five years. And it's a level two alliance. I don't know what that means. Silly Billy is finally contributing 10 troops. Yeah! That's great. A whopping 10 troops. That does a lot, definitely. And 44 population. So I, it's going to be top dreams because they can't get to the gods. And it started. Top red declared war on top dreams. And they're, they're just going to instantly be taken out. These armies are no joke. And they're sending them all in from every village. They're attacking from the top and bottom. Okay, silly bullies are doing something with a red army. So the dragon unit actually has some credibility. And they killed Top Dreams King. Yay! That's a good achievement, I guess. And they took over the capital of Top Dreams. And they're trying to defend. They're putting up some type of defense. Not a good defense, but they're trying at least. Oh, and surprisingly, Top Dreams took back their capital. They did a surprise attack, I guess, from Ope, and they, are in they instantly took it back. And somehow, they, they have not been able to just crush them in slowly from both sides. Like, this side hasn't done anything down here in Top Red. It's just the peasants that are fighting them off. They're doing a good job. They really care about their homeland. And they're probably defending their children because they just they don't they don't they don't survive long when these wars happen and top dreams took their capital back they successfully defended wow Yay! i don't think this has ever happened they have four army and they can't and 83 troops plus eight can't take them out this is ridiculous i know they have a hundred over 100 citizens but still you have a trained army what are you doing top red the king is furious i think because it looks like he's going with them. No, he's not going with them. He's just in his house crying. Okay, but here comes another wave. And they are, they're kind of elite. They have wooden swords. That's, that's a lot in this world. When you just have sticks as the default. No, silly billies are actually kind of smarter than what I thought. They got the protection from top red. And they're really advanced, actually. I don't think that the mm, top dream should actually fight back. Like, they should just defend. Like, what are you doing? What are you three troops gonna do? You're just gonna instantly die. Yep, and this general instantly died. He was promoted, and he's gonna instantly die. Wow. Happy promotion. Congrats. Finally, they're in closing on them. But they delayed them for a long time. That was a good fight. That was a great battle. But now they're closing in from both sides, and they stand no chance. Yep, and they just goodbye, Top Dreams. And the War of Justice has ended. They really called it the War of Justice, because they just owned the right side of the map. That was an injustice to Top Red. Whatever. Alright, they're 93 strong, plus the 8. But they, do you think they can take over? I don't think so. They have whales. Do any of the other people have whales? No, they don't. They have two-story homes. 
Do any of the other people have two-story homes? Absolutely not. The only thing they weirdly don't have is uh, statues. I don't know why they don't have any statues. They have literally everything but that, and they have plenty of time to get those. Maybe they don't have the technology still. Yeah, and they're just not beating, and they're not beating 37 culture. They're just, you're not, no one's beating that. Top Red is actually starting to rival the gods with population and army almost, and Silly Billy is still being freeloaders, of course. But they're god. Oh, the king of gods is finally a hundred. You'd think he would have much more level than that, but I think they literally just lounge about all day and, and do nothing but relax. I don't think the gods have a hard life. And now they're finally building beautiful statues. These filthy, filthy mortals don't even come close to having that type of decor. It's just trees and dirt. They don't even have roads. They've just discovered farming, probably. This building looks nice, though. I, I wonder how much that costs. Probably every, every ore that was here and then they just this is such a sin they just left this one piece of ore here to mock me and i think they should be smited the gods should punish them for this how about fairies this is a good punishment oh wait no i think these actually help yeah they just heal that was a bad decision all right then demons demons oh no we can't have a demon over here we we have to protect the gods they they they're in control oh the gods are instantly responding yeah, and that guy got set on fire. Oh well, it's okay. This is punishment. This is what happens when you mock the gods slash me. Do dumb things like this, lose a city. But now they also have new technology, so uh, it's probably not a good decision. We will cease our anger and give them rain. They'll help restore this land. They're forgiven. I hope they learned their lesson. And it's almost 90 years. I think it's about time we open the gates to the heavens. Oh yeah, and the gods, they're not playing any games. They're sending a statue of war right here through this entrance to tell these mortals that they mean business and, and there will be consequences if they dare to attack them. And we're finally opening the gates for the first time in nearly 90 years. I originally had them open, but then the gods would have just took over everything, so I closed them. And there's that. There's two gates, two attack points. That's it. They had the advantage of being heavily defended by this mountain. Oh, and they're already planning war. <laughs> They've been bored for nearly 100 years and they're, they're bloodthirsty. God King, he means business. He's not messing around with these mortals. He's wants their land. He's after a lot of uh I mean he's he's already sending them out. He's just he's preparing. They're they're experienced. They already know what they're doing. They're just I mean it's, notice how there's a, a very good lack of sticks here. There's a spear. I've never seen a spear before. Why are you sad about having a spear? That I would love to have a spear. I mean, the disadvantage is everyone's pretty old from the gods, but th that's fine. Old people can fight. They're probably better fighters, too. See, this guy has a stick, but at least it's a legendary stick. And he has armor to go with it as well, so. Also, a lot of these people are blessed. They've just always have been blessed. And, and this scares me. I don't know where they're marching this army. And they are literally marching this huge army. Is it really to kill this demon? Oh, the, it is. They, they mean business. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't know there were still demons <laughs> terrorizing the top red. Oh, and they made quick work of him. They barely sacrificed anything. Well, that was probably to also show the mortals that the gods will show mercy and help them when they're in need. And never mind, the gods have declared war on top red. They just want their land. They use the demons as an excuse. They aren't very benevolent. They are just their conquerors. And instantly, the top right falls. And they're not even able to get in the entrance of heaven without dying. El God has a has a triton, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's there's no winning against them. Yeah, this wasn't a good decision for... I mean, I guess the gods declared war. They angered the gods for some reason. No, I think they just wanted land. Yeah, that's what it was. They just wanted land. Yeah, from neither side, they, can, uh, they can't win. And whatever god this is here just wants some action. Oh, it's club god. Club god wants action. Yep, and the Billy King was conquered by this random dude who's OP and the Kingslayer now. Probably gonna die soon though. Yeah, it's not even a competition. They're just they're just slaughtering. They just threw a Molotov cocktail at the top red troops. How do they even have those? I guess they are the all-powerful gods that can do anything. Now the bottom right is being conquered. But who is this over here? Oh, it's God of Mount. Yeah. He's not the most OP, but he wanted some action to cheer him up. He's always sad. Now, did God King get involved? No, that's below him. He doesn't go and actually fight the peasants. He sets an example. He can't go and 
dirty his good image, and neither can side God, his right hand God. They're too pure of people. He has 12 children, but he's still pure. And I don't, I just can't cheer him up. He's always sad. And they, they've taken over everything pretty much. They just, the world is submitted to them. That was crazy. The gods really just led their armies into battle and won instantly. I mean, what did I expect? They, they're they just so OP. Yep, and Top Raid was destroyed. And then the bad clash of the gods has ended. That's what they named the war. That's, that's, that makes sense. That's very appropriate. And in the end, the god king wins, as he always does. But in the end, he'll never truly be happy because all he wants is fish. And that can't make you happy. And conquering random people can't make you happy and he's just now learned this probably i mean this old person has learned anything